In order for virtualization like this to work uh, most effectively, the hardware has to support it. Um, most newer hardware these days supports it, it's not an issue, but for security reasons, um, virtualization a lot of times in the BIOS on the motherboard is disabled um, because they there there has been proof of concept with uh, with root kits where you can actually go in uh, to a with uh, virtual virtualization enabled uh, with a root kit you can actually get full access to everything it's really dangerous um, so by default uh, motherboard manufacturers typically turn virtualization off um, so you will need to go into your BIOS um, to turn that on everybody's BIOS is different uh, you know from you know whether it's different manufacturers or different different uh, models of motherboards within the same manufacturer may have a different process to actually enable virtualization so uh, if you're not sure get online look at your user's manual whatever you need to do uh, make sure you've got virtualization enabled um, if you're not sure if it's enabled um, there are programs out there uh, like Speccy um, that you can use but that's what I wanted to bring up here is uh, you know I've got Specky on my computer here and um, you know this is this is my system it's an old system it's an AMD FX 8350 um, on a Sabre 2 uh, 990 FX motherboard with 16 gigs of RAM uh, you know running at like 1600 megahertz it's it's, it's not a, a great powerful system um, it's it's five or six years old at this point so if my system can run all of this yours probably can too but um, what I will say here is if we go into um, into the CPU over here on the left hand side when you run this for the first time it, it'll take it a minute to scan your system um, but just when it's done click CPU and then come over to here and scroll down a little bit and you'll see a spot that says virtualization um, it will tell you if virtualization is supported by your hardware um, where I have an issue with it is right here it says the virtualization is disabled and I call BS on that because I know for a fact that virtualization is enabled um, because I'm virtualizing very, very easily. And I went into my BIOS and saw in there that the setting is set to enabled. So um, Specky and programs like this may be good for telling you if your hardware will support virtualization, but it may not actually tell you uh, correctly whether or not virtualization is enabled. So just something to keep in mind. Again, you will need virtualization um, or you'll need hardware that will support virtualization but you also make sure, need to make sure that it's turned on. So um, just wanted to touch on that real quick. Um, it's, it's something that came up in my last video uh, a few different times, and I wanted to make sure that I covered it in this video uh, so you don't have to go uh, to that video and read through all the comments, that sort of thing. So um, hopefully that kind of helps explain uh, kind of the starting process um, for, for what you'll need to get started for uh, virtualizing operating systems on your system.